Olovinaka and welcome to Inner City Tabernacle Suva's online service. I'm Pastor Moses O'Connor and I'm lead pastor here at ICT and it's such a delight to be able to serve you this beautiful day that the Lord has made. Government directives have changed over the last few weeks and things have escalated to what it is today but we are advised to obey government directives when it comes to washing your hands for at least 20 seconds with soap and water and using of hand sanitizers. When you're in public spaces, don't forget to wear your mask and keep that distance of two meters apart if you're lining up in a supermarket. I'd also like to strongly advise each and every one of you, if you could download the Care Fiji app. This just helps our people as they do contact tracing if that is necessary. ICT stands for Inner City Tabernacle and our vision is to build resilient people. People that are constantly being transformed into the image and likeness of Christ by the power of His Holy Spirit. As we hear His Word, His Word makes the changes in our lives and as we apply it, we grow and we become stronger. We're able to withstand the challenges of life. It may knock us down, but we're not down for good. We're up again and we're at life because we're built to withstand such onslaughts. And so at ICT, you're welcome to join us. As we're about to uh, go to the service this morning, you can join us on our website that's there on the link and also face Facebook Live. After the service, you're welcome to join us on the Zoom link where we'll have fellowship and prayer for about 30 minutes. We welcome you and we're so delighted that you're able to join us from wherever you're tuned in from this beautiful day. Shall we just pray before we connect with the service this morning? Father, we're so thankful for your goodness and your mercies to each and every one of us. To everyone that's tuned in from whatever part of the world, in whatever time zone, we commit each and every one of them into your hands and we pray that you'll meet them at the point of need as they reach out to you and as they hear your word. I pray that you'll find a lodging place in their hearts and may it grow and bear much fruit and, and I pray that you'll build in them that resilience to know that you're a faithful God, that you're a covenant keeping God, that you're a God who makes promises and it is your intention to keep them. We pray for our nation in this trying times. I pray, O oh Lord, that you'll minister to those that may be sick by the virus, O oh Father God, that has attacked their bodies. I pray in the name of Jesus, that as they call out unto you, as they hear your word, that they will know that you're still Jehovah Rapha, the Lord our healer. We plead your precious blood over this nation, and we pray that you will help us recover as a nation, as an economy, to the glory of your name. I pray that people will turn to you as they realize that you're the only one that's able to do exceeding abundantly above all we can ever ask, think, or imagine according to the power that you've placed in us. We commit this time into your hands. Come and be glorified. In Jesus' wonderful name we pray. Amen and amen.
clothed in majesty let all the earth rejoice let all the earth rejoice he wraps himself in
Jesus, you deserve. 